Hi everyone and happy Sunday. It's been a while. So I hope service went well. Did you go to church? <laughs> okay, so um today in service the anchor text was um second Corinthians chapter two and verse um five to eleven. The last verse was like the point of emphasis where the Bible says so that the enemy does not outsmart us because we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. And this is actually very true. You know, when we pray to God for certain things and at that point where we're expecting our blessings is when the devil consciously makes us or tempts us with things that we hinder that prayer from being answered. For example, when you are praying to God for the spirit of patience, the fruit of the spirit of patience, that's where everybody from every corner is going to step on your toes. And that's just the thing. You know, when even um, Jesus had fasted for 40 days, 49, he was hungry. It's at that point of his weakness, like the devil came and presented what seemed like a solution to his problem. So, like a word of encouragement to us is, you know, as Christians, we have to remain ever sensitive. And when we are praying to God for things, let's also be on the lookout to see how the devil might want to like make us not receive the blessings that God has prepared for us. It could be through hunger and it could even be through fear or anxiety. If you are someone that you know, you worry a lot when you have prayed, the devil can consciously bring things to you that will like make you think outside of God's blessings, make you have fear, make you have anxiety and you won't even be able to engage your faith. And Bible says for without faith it is impossible to please God that whoever must come to God must first believe that he is God and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So you know depending on what relates to you just be on the lookout when you've prayed or when you're in your waiting period your waiting season the devil will tempt you which is absolutely fine but we have a good news because god says that there is no temptation that has overtaken us that is not common to man in it all god is going to provide a way of escape and we won't be tempted beyond our capacity so as you go for this week i hope that you are strengthened to overcome every temptation that comes your way Ciao.